Well, Michael, you're looking for a third win in a row on um, on, on Tuesday. Just put in perspective, Rovers' current form. Yeah, you know, at the minute we're uh, we're playing, we're playing well. You know, we're we're working hard in training, and it's it's really showing on the pitch and it's bringing belief. You know, the the positivity and the confidence is increasing with every game, which is which is good to see. And uh, we're moving up the league, so hopefully we can continue that on Tuesday against Scunthorpe. Big week, isn't it? Are you still looking over your shoulders at all? There's an eight-point gap now, but I gather just five points between you and eighth place. So I suppose this week could tell us a lot about where Rovers' season's going. Yeah, every every game now is massive for us. You know, they're, the teams at the bottom, you know, they've picked up a few points since Saturday there. You know, I think Northampton's won. I think Torquay lost. But, you know, we're we're still not out of it. We have to keep going, keep keep trying to get three points in every single game. And uh, Scunthorpe away tomorrow night will be... Very, very difficult. Was it nice having a Saturday off? Is it is it rare these days? Yeah, it was nice. You know, it was nice to just chill and watch watch a bit of sport. You know, I, I watched the rugby on Saturday. You know, um, it was it was great. You know, while everyone else was playing their games, we had a Friday night game, and uh, it was quite nice to have a weekend off. And were you pleased with your part in the victory? Not only because Rovers <coughs> kept a clean sheet, but your assist as well. Yeah, it's been a while since I got the assist. You know, I think. I think about 10 games since I last got an assist, so I was pretty pleased for that on Friday night, but most of all, I'm just pleased we got three points. Are you going to treat us to a goal this season? I hope so, yeah, but I never hit the target on Friday, so I'm getting closer, you know, <laughs> but uh, first and foremost, I'm a defender, and uh, that's, my, that's my priority. Yeah, um, away from home, I think Rovers openly need to improve. Um, what's needed to pick up more wins on the road, do you think? Because at home, it seems okay at the moment. Yeah, at home, we're got a fantastic record but away we are struggling a bit this season I think we've only got one win and that was at Oxford where we played fantastic on the day but I'm not sure what why it is that we've got that record away from home we do shape up the same way we play at home it just just hasn't happened for us do you go as a sort of scunthorpe all, all guns blazing or do we have to be realistic here because you're taking on a side second in the league and they scored five goals on Saturday yeah, I've seen the result on Saturday against Portsmouth, you know, it just shows how good of a team's gone for a bar, but we can't go there and just defend it as we get picked off, you know, we have to go for it. There's no there's no point going there to sit back, you know, go for the three points and try and take the win. And what difference have the new signings made? Clyde Mohamed, um, Alan Gow, um, Stephen Gillespie, we'll, we'll see more from him, I'm sure, to come as well. Yeah, the three of them have come in and done absolutely fantastic, you know, uh, Alan is, is a fantastic player, I'm sure everyone's seen his feet are phenomenal, you know, Mo on the right played on Friday night, he's, he's quick, he's strong, you know, he's, he's good at running at people and he's, uh, he's a pleasure to play with down the right hand side and Gilly, Gilly in training is unbelievable, you know, he hasn't shown it much on the pitch because he hasn't been uh, match fit really, but I'm sure we'll see more of him. Yeah, give us an insight into Steve Gillespie in, in training, does he hit, hit the target, what, nine times out of ten? Yeah, he's fantastic, you know, um, you can see that he's got real, real quality. You know his first touch, his movement. You know his his uh, sh striking of the ball. You know he's he's a fantastic player. And is it harder to make overlapping runs when with, with Kai Mohamed because of his pace? It's quite a task to keep up with him. Yeah, isn't it's it? quite hard to keep up with him. You know sometimes you just have to leave him and let him go himself. But on the odd time, you know I do get round him. And <clears throat> on Friday there, I got an assist, so pretty pleased with that. Looking forward to the week ahead. Um, you can only be confident, can't you, going into two. Contrasting away games, but um, they'll, they'll tell us a lot about where Rovers are going. Yeah, you know, as a footballer, you always look forward to playing uh, matches, and it's a big test tomorrow night against the top top of the table team, and uh, and then on Saturday away to Northampton. You know, it's it'll be a scrappy game probably away there, but I think the last couple of seasons we haven't won there. I think we've been beaten twice, but this season we're looking to change that. Thank you.